Well, hey, what's up guys and welcome to my channel. Listen, today we are unboxing the American Express Platinum Card. I'm so excited to get this card and I got this card right before some rumored increase in the annual fee. And so I wanna talk about why I got this card, why I thought now was a good time to get the card, how I'm gonna use it, how I'm gonna reap some benefits on some upcoming trips, and you'll get to take part in the whole unboxing experience. But before we go forward, listen, I need you to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and also hit that bell notification so you're aware of every video that I put out coming soon. Let's go. All right, so today I got in the mail from UPS the American Express Platinum card that I applied for just two days ago. So um, Amex really takes care of their Platinum members. So I applied for the card, I got automatically approved. They were able to give me my card numbers early in case I wanted to use it these last two days. Uh, and then they basically um, two day ship it via UPS. And so it was on my doorstep today comes in the American Express envelope. Um, no super fancy packaging or anything like that. Standard American Express envelope. But when you open it up, you got your standard documentation. And the very first thing we see, open it up, you got the American Express Platinum. There it is. There it is in all of its glory. Look at that. All right, so I'm pumped to get this card. Now, here's the crazy part about this. I got this card in late June of 2021. In July of 2021, July 1st, actually the next day from when I'm recording this video, it is rumored that the annual fee is going up to $695. All right. There's already been documentation seen online as of today. It's been rumored for the last few months and with some rumors of some increased benefits that are going to be coming to the card with this additional increase. Uh, but I have some upcoming trips coming up. I got a trip going to Los Angeles pretty soon. I'm in Pittsburgh here, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, I got uh, some cruises coming up. I'm going to Nashville later in the year. Um, I'm going on a, uh, a cruise early next year. And then also late next year, I'm hoping to take my wife and I to Europe uh, for a big trip. So we're going to have a lot of travel coming up. We're going to have a lot of hotel stays coming up. And so that was the primary reason I thought I could benefit from this card. This is considered pretty much to be the elite travel card. Uh, and so where I stood, I thought, okay, now I really feel like I could take advantage of the primary perks that this card has to offer despite the $550 annual fee. Now, I wanted to get it now before that 695 jump uh, once so in my first year, I'll be able to take advantage of the added benefits. So we don't know totally what they're going to be yet, uh, but um, you can find these all over the place. There's a lot of rumors out there that um, potentially there's going to be uh, a $179 credit for a clear membership, which is great because I already have TSA pre-check. I'd love to get clear. Uh, rumors of a $240 entertainment credit. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, $20 monthly installments. So I mean, that could completely cover the cost of our Apple One subscription, our family membership. So that could be really great. Um, this $300 Equinox gym credit that's being rumored, we don't know if that's going to come yet. Uh, but the, the issue with that is that gym doesn't have a ton of locations. I think just a little over 100 locations. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but not a ton of locations, none in where I'm from. And so this would be something that I'm not really gonna be able to take advantage of at all. So I'm not really excited about that. Uh, 200 credit towards some prepaid hotel bookings through the Amex travel. Um, and then also you still have all of the other things that you get Uber VIP status, the $200 credit in Uber. Uh, you get um, cell phone insurance protection. Um, the $200 airline incidental fee credit, that's kind of the one on the bubble. We're not sure if that's gonna stay. We're not sure if it's gonna go. Uh, so we'll find out in a few days. Uh, also the $100 at uh, Saks Fifth Avenue uh, still have that. So a lot of ways help cover the cost of the annual fee, not to mention the lounge access that you're going to get, the company Marriott and Hilton status that you're going to get. Uh, so this card has a lot of benefits. 
for me, as we're getting ready to travel a lot more, I wanted this card. I wanted to be able to take advantage of it. So I got it in June so I could lock in that $550 annual fee for at least my first year. And so that's, that's my goal. I really want to maximize that value in year one. Uh, other thing we get uh, our credit report got my credit report in here um, you know it's interesting my credit score for this hard pull was 782 it gave me a few reasons why my credit score was adversely affected this is huge guys anytime you apply for a credit card read this over because it helps you to know what credit card companies are looking at uh, when when your score is being evaluated and, and why they either accepted you or declined you so you get this either way um, but for me, one of the reasons that my score is only at 782, though I'm, I'm happy with that at the moment, uh, too many inquiries in the last 12 months. I think it's my third card this year. Uh, length of time accounts have been established. I, you know, last few years I've been opening, opening a lot of cards, so you know, that makes sense. Um, insufficient time since most recent account established. Yeah, I think my last... Um, my last credit card I just got maybe a month ago. So, um, so yeah, that's, that all makes a lot of sense. So you get that in the packaging. You also get your card member agreement, uh, on mine. You can clearly see my annual fee membership is $550. So that is huge. That is locked in, uh, for me. Uh, this is as of 6, 28, 2021. There are rumors that again, tomorrow, July 1st, this card member agreement for new card holders is going to say $695. Um, but me getting at the $550 level, I'll still be able to take advantage of whatever new perks they add to the card. So I'm excited to take advantage of that in year one. Uh, and then you get summary of the additional benefits of the card, which uh, again, I've, I've already kind of talked about those. Um, but you know, the things I did not talk about, 5X points on flights, 5X points on pre paid hotels. I'm looking forward to that. And the bonus that I got, guys, the bonus, I was targeted for the 100K offer with the 10X back on groceries for up to $15,000 and 10X back on gas up to $15,000. So excited to take advantage of that. Uh, when I go to the website right now, um, you know, I'm only seeing the 75,000 uh, point offer, but I did find the $100,000 offer. I actually got a mailer for it and um, I missed the deadline to apply. And then I was able to log in and I got it anyway. So uh, excited to have uh, that. So yeah, guys, listen, the American Express Platinum, I'm excited to add this to my repertoire. I'm excited to kind of get it into the fold. Um, I have no idea what tomorrow is going to bring. Hopefully, by the time I publish this, I'll put it on the screen if there's been any of these changes confirmed. Uh, but listen, I really believe this is a phenomenal card. It might not make sense for you, and it might not ever make sense for you. Uh, but if you're doing a lot of travel, this is really the king of travel cards with just the ability of lounge access itself. So, um, and uh, the concierge service to be able to take advantage of that where we're traveling. I mean, just huge. The the protection for uh, you know, trip cancellations or trip delays or um, baggage loss. I mean, all those protections that come along with this card are. are really really huge if you are traveling and you know one more thing guys because the annual fee is up updating to 695 presumably if i get into year two year three year four and this card no longer makes sense for me you can downgrade it you can downgrade it to the gold card you can downgrade it to the green card and uh, those have both have lower annual fees both of which have some perks that I can easily take advantage of. I don't have either of those cards right now. So uh, to take advantage of this massive bonus and know that I'll be able to take advantage of some of the travel perks over the last few years, this made an easy sign up for me, uh, especially to take advantage of it just a few days before that potential annual fee increase. So uh, excited to add this to my wallet and uh, I got to get going because now I got to go meet this bonus. Until next time, I'll see you.